Just bounce to this. Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Brandon Clements and welcome back to part six of our Substance Painter tutorial series. So right now what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump into Substance Painter and we're going to put some dirt onto our Stormtrooper helmet. So hope you guys are having a good day. Let's go ahead and jump in and get to it. Okay, so you can see here um, we left off and we have our actual white plastic and our metal base. We got those separated out into different files or um, I'm sorry, different layers, uh, so that we can individually control the paint roughness. Uh, the fill layers have like arbitrary values that we can tweak later on. And then we actually have a mask and different uh, generators for dirt to actually bring a little bit more interest to the, uh, the helmet here. So I want to add another layer on top of this. Um, so we can just have this being the Stormtrooper white. I'm going to add a new folder, and I'm going to call this one just dirt. And then we can add a new paint layer. Okay, so uh, right here, new paint layer. And let's call this uh, dirt base color. And I'm going to do something a little bit different. You know, um, I've actually kind of kept it pretty straightforward, but now I'm going to actually put the roughness. Um, and I'll be painting with the normal, and we'll have the color as well. So. Um, let's let's see here with the actual color. I'm gonna use a a different procedural texture here. So maybe the clouds three. I feel like I use clouds three a lot, but it's pretty good to get some uh, variation. And we can adjust the position a little bit, and you can see the contrast kind of. Uh, actually, not the contrast. It's adjusting kind of the histogram of how many um, mid values and dark values are going to be in there so maybe something like that and then here's the contrast that we can adjust so uh, I think I'll leave it down pretty low. Um, the way the strokes are falling onto the mesh I don't like that so I'm going to try to uh, change that a little bit. So let's go over here to our brush properties and let's churn up the flow jitter uh, the angle jitter and the position jitter just so it's a little bit more random in the size jitter here and then you can see as I'm uh, using my preview up here that it's changing a little bit more so um, I could also change my brush tip so maybe let's use uh, dirt one okay so we got a lot of kind of random variation here and this is more like what I what I want to see up onto the model Okay, and as I press harder with my uh, Wacom pin, uh, it's going to get uh, more solid. It's going to start to show up a little bit more in opacity. Okay, so I'm just going to paint some more um, around here, just kind of lightly, kind of feathering this part out from that midsection there. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, let's go and try to add an effect. So, uh, sorry, I kind of get mixed up with these icons a little bit. Let's see what we can do. We want to add a, let's do a levels. And let's go to our uh, red values and kind of pump that up a little bit. And maybe let's work with our green and kind of get that more into the brown area. So um, you know, there's just so much flexibility that you have with the actual effects. I just wanted to show you guys um, a little bit of how you could uh, use some of these tools. So let's go back. It looks like it reset our red back. Actually, let's go to the red, sorry. And then we'll kind of bring this back up. And then we'll go to the green. I think that's looking pretty good. So let's continue painting a little bit more. Maybe some here on the nose part. And uh, it looks like having that effect on top is making our performance just a little bit slower. And it also could be the screen capture. Um, slowing down my performance a little bit, but not too bad. So just kind of lightly just coat this with some dirt. 
maybe some in this crevice here. I can adjust my brush size, kind of zoom in, and just paint some more dirt variation around this this portion that's kind of a crevasse there, kind of a crevice. So let's paint some in the bottom portions. Okay. And just going through and just keep adding some more variation. And uh, we'll be using our color selection so that we don't actually paint um, this onto other parts of our mesh. I just want this to fall onto the plastic part for now, just to give us some more control. We can paint these kind of really dark in through here. And it's just nice to be able to look at the uh, 2D view and see that update as well. And um, it looks good in 3D view. It's going to look pretty good in the 2D view. So we know that our painting is, uh, is going pretty well. We're not getting any kind of weird stretching from our UVs. It's not the best UV layout, and we had talked about that a little bit in some of the other videos, um, that you could probably split up this part of the mask so that you get a little bit more texture resolution. Um, but I think it will be okay. It all depends on what you're using this model for. If it's going to be a hero asset and it's going to have a lot of close-ups, then you probably need more texture resolution than 4096. Um, but it just all depends on what you're using it for. So let's kind of just come around to the back portion here and put some more variation here. We're going to have to add more layers of dirt and kind of uh, change the way the look is. And this will kind of be like our light base part, and then we'll go through and we'll add um, some more type of dirt on top of it. Okay, so um, maybe just a little bit more up here on the helmet. We kind of just want it to look like this dirt has just kind of brushed onto the helmet and just collected after a while. Some of these portions here. So we could go back through with a uh, darker brush a smaller brush and get some of these variations to kind of make these uh, features pop out a little bit more. Maybe there on uh, the eye portion, give it a little bit more asymmetry. But it's cool to be able to um, sprinkle this dirt on top of the parts that are kind of shiny. And uh, I may want to change the environment as well. It kind of looks like it's a little overblown and I you know I could hold shift and right click and change the lighting a little bit but um, let's try a different environment um, let's see here let's maybe go up to I kinda like this it's looking pretty good so I kinda wanna just see what it looks like in some of these shadowed areas and I'm looking at the like the left portion of the helmet over here where my cursor is um, and where that's shiny and where there's dirt on top of it. I'm trying to see how that looks and uh, just double check and see how we're painting with roughness. So we got uh, 0.9 or so for the roughness, so it's pretty rough. So then once we've actually went through and we painted on the dirt and we got everything looking how we want it, we want to come up to our dirt folder. This is where we're gonna have all our different variations of dirt. And let's go ahead and add a black mask. And then we're going to right click on that layer and we're going to say add color selection. And we're going to be able to pick that yellow. And then you can see uh, we have that dirt only on the white plastic parts of our helmet. Okay. And we can keep these areas looking different and add some more variation. So I like that we have that flexibility to be able to do that. Um, I think I'm going to do one more levels adjustment on this before we wrap it up and before we end this tutorial. So let's go and add uh, another levels and let's kind of tweak the gamma a little bit. Maybe something like that. Just make it a little bit darker. Uh, maybe not quite so dark. I'm gonna get picky here, I guess. Let's kind of move it. Just wanted it slightly darker. Okay, cool. I think that looks fine for me. Uh, we'll continue in the next lesson and we'll actually add some more variation of dirt. So uh, that's basically going to wrap up this one. I hope you guys learned a, l a little bit. Uh, just remember to 
add a black mask onto your layers and then you can add your color selection and pick those values from your ID mats. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, thanks a lot for all the support and everything. And remember, you can get this scene on Gumroad for 99 cents. And remember to subscribe to our channel and give us a like uh, because that helps us. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. So thanks a lot. Take care.